Hello world, I'm LJ and this is LJ Go Sweden. Today is Sunday and today was the day for me to basically clean up the mess that was out there. And as you can see it, well, there's not really much left there. I have some stuff there. Under there you see the small suitcase. And also, yeah, a lot of things are still standing around or I just have put them aside for now because it really takes more time than just going through the boxes and putting things where I want them in the future. So I try to put them away, also like put them out of the boxes or out of the suitcases, but I am definitely not happy with most of the things also right there. I just put it right there for now. I will yeah, put it somewhere in the wall in the future. But today I want to show you the damages of the car that occurred so far. Unfortunately, it is raining right now. And this video is supposed to come out in less than two hours. Hmm, let's see if I can make that. I also need to go to the grocery store today because I have no vegetables or whatsoever at home. But I will do the video first and I hope the rain is passing soon. But the big thing that I will be talking about today is also the future of this channel and the future of recording videos. So first of all, the channel will not stop. Like videos will be coming. I love doing this and I love talking to you guys because it really helps me in moments where I feel alone. If you understand this, you know I moved to Sweden alone. Of course, I'm now slowly gaining contacts at work and maybe also out of work, but it just takes time. And if I feel alone in my environment, I can just talk to you guys. And also now during the week in Norway, I will probably also record a lot of things talk to the camera just to like share what I am experiencing and I'm charging my drone and I really hope that I will have a great adventure and find a lot of cool spots in Norway and also in western Sweden. But now of course the question is what is next with this channel? What is next for the daily content? Well the big problem right now still is that I have no video after this one. I'm just doing this right now. I have content that I could cut and that I could upload. And maybe I will be doing that. However, you have to keep in mind that it all takes time. So the biggest problem is basically cutting the video while having internet and electricity. Because I cannot charge my MacBook because it's an older one in my car first problem and second of all i only have limited data to upload stuff which made me think like that i will not upload anything during the week however i cannot do it i really feel like i have to at least make one video or maybe even two this week so what i'm going to say right now and i hope i can get it through because i at least have some data on my contract left for the month is to upload a video that is coming out on Wednesday and then one that is coming out on Sunday. And after that, I have to reconsider the whole thing again because then I will be at home. I have internet, but still I want to make this change, make this switch of the amount of videos and maybe increase quality instead of quantity. That is the goal. So to sum it up, the next video is coming out on Wednesday and then you will have a video on Sunday. I think I will be back at my apartment also on Sunday so I can record something for you on Monday, which will also then finalize the plan that I have. And if you're watching this video and you just came to this channel because you like to see reactions of Eurovision songs or other songs, I can already tell you right now the reactions, they will be coming when I feel like doing them. And if new Eurovision songs are being published for next year, I will react to all of them definitely because I, I love doing that and I will continue doing that. But for songs outside of the Eurovision bubble, it really depends how much I want to give my opinion about a certain song. Okay, but now enough said. I think the rain has stopped. Let's check out the car and see what type of damages I already have. Okay guys, I was just outside. The rain is just not stopping and I cannot wait 
another half an hour because the video is supposed to be released then. I just went outside, made a short clip that I will include right here and I will also watch it myself now to see if you can see the damages because one of the damages, the one that I caused myself, I cannot see right now due to the rain. First of all, you can see that there's a minor black spot caused by a stone probably hitting the front of the car which is unfortunately not dirt. Yesterday I realized that. Then we have a second um, chip, I think, caused by a stone, which luckily though caused no loss of paint. The paint is kind of like pushed up, so there's definitely like a little dent caused by the paint. That is the second one that I spotted yesterday. And then there is the damage that I cannot see right now, which is on the front right wheel. And that is that I have somehow hit the rim like on a corner a stone or whatever but unfortunately you cannot see it right now because it's just too wet but i can tell you that there is a small one i will show you definitely when it's dry but the weird thing is though is i have no idea how it happened of course like it's not a big one but i just have no idea how it happened or when it happened i think i realized the damage on monday when i was in germany and i was talking about the the covers the aero covers that you have on the wheels and then i looked on the right side because i was talking to my dad about it and i said like wait there is a spot and it was not just dirt there were two scenarios where i think i could have hit it one of them was because i was trying to smooch through two superchargers that were somewhere in the middle and i was kind of too lazy to reverse and go around maybe i hit something there when i was slowly going through them and the second thing was probably when i was turning somewhere and maybe the curb was closer than expected but in the end it's only minor things of course i was kind of sad with the small scratch on the wheel but the paint thing you cannot do anything against of course there is the solution to put this protection foil to wrap it up and maybe save the paint however that also costs i think like four thousand crowns 400 euros something like that i don't know like those are things that I will think about in the near future. I wanted to show it better to you, but unfortunately the weather is not allowing me to do it like that so spontaneously right now. I will gather myself the next days in Norway when I can relax and then I will be back to normal hopefully sooner or later. Enough said now. I hope you have a wonderful day. We're going to see each other back in the next video and until then have a wonderful time. See you guys.